So today on College Cooking, we're making ramen sushi. Mm -hmm. Again, I have no idea what I'm doing. Hopefully it works again. You're gonna need instant noodles some tuna or whatever you want inside the sushi, a pot, maybe some regular vinegar, and some nori. I'm gonna try to make it without as well because not all college kids will have this. So we're gonna bring about two and a half cups of water to a boil. And while we're waiting for that to boil, we're gonna crunch up our noodles while they're in the bag a little bit. Don't go too crazy or it'll break the bag. It'll be less messy to do it while it's in the bag. All right, so it's boiling! Yay! Add your noodles. Don't add the flavor yet. And we're gonna overboil these so they might get like sticky rice. Not sure how this is gonna work yet. So I'm gonna let them boil for 10 minutes. All right, so after 10 minutes, I drained a bit of the water, so it's just sort of swimming in it, and then I'm gonna boil it for another 10 minutes. Now that it looks like goop, we're gonna add a little bit of vinegar and the flavor package. Don't go crazy with the vinegar. And stir that in. And let that sit with the lid on until it's cool. To like five minutes or so. I don't know. So I don't know how long that was actually cooling. I left it to cool on the stove a little bit but it wasn't cooling fast enough so I put it in the fridge and then I put it in the freezer. Anyway, it's mostly cool now so let's make that sushi. First thing I'm gonna do is mix up some tuna for inside the sushi. I have tuna, mayo, some sriracha. And I have sun-dried tomato tuna. It can just be regular tuna, it's just the only stuff I had. Alright, then spoon in some mayo. Alright, then add a little bit of sriracha. And there is your spicy tuna filling. And I'm also gonna cut up some cucumber, so there's some sort of vegetable in it. So cut it into some thin strips for your sushi. So now let's roll this. So get out some saran wrap, lay out the nori, and spoon on some of these the instant noodles. Right? And then add your toppings. I also have some sesame seeds, so I'm going to sprinkle a few on. Alright, then we're going to attempt to roll it. Yay! So take the saran wrap and it'll help you roll. And press it down with the saran wrap as you go. We may have made this fairly big, but that's okay. And then just slice it. Ooh, ah. 
now I'm going to try making it without the nori for those of you who don't have it. This may not work, so yay! So just spoon on to the saran wrap some of your noodles. Spread them out into a sort of square. Try not to have any holes in the noodles. Then add your optional sesame and your fillings. Whew. Let's roll this and hope that something happens right. All right, we're gonna try cutting through the saran wrap so that it doesn't fall apart. I recommend serving them with ginger and soy sauce.